my um because of the three legs. Something else. You got something on her butt. It's because she's in heat, honey. Why are we going to leave it there? Um, I'm probably going to leave it there. Why? Because I want to. I see the heat. Mm -hmm. I think I'm yeah, it's just going to get more. I'll clean it all off after she's done being in heat. Seems a little silly to clean it off right now. Right? You don't want this yet. You know that later. Both of my parents, my daddy was a city boy through and through. Um, but uh, my mom decided she was a city girl, not a country girl. Um, and so I grew up in a city, which I hated, <laughs> not every minute of, but I definitely was very uncomfortable in the city. So, um, I eventually moved to more country setting by the time I was in my like early twenties. And then, um, yeah, so, but I didn't realize I've always been around horses, but these are the first goats and ducks and sheep and pigs and all that stuff. I've been here for a year. I started off here as a, as a wolf herd. You stayed here for a year. Yeah, a whole year. <laughs> oh. uh, um, I was a woofer, which is like something about, or like, I don't know, it's this volunteer work program for farms. And I signed up and I did it, and it was cool, and I just stuck around. And I like the farm here and needed a lot of work and a lot of help. And it's been fun. I still work here, I still volunteer here and stuff. I don't get paid, and I just love what I do. And, Love helping out the animals and the family and those dogs, they used to be on lines here and everything and all tied up and I got them all and they're all offline now and they all hang out with me and I don't know, I learned how to train those ones first, you know, and now I got my own dog. She's the best. I love her. <laughs> Yesterday she found a pig. We were, uh, no, two days ago, we were out there and she starts barking like crazy and we're smelling the smell and then all of a sudden there's a pig and she starts jumping up and her piss is going everywhere. <laughs> She found the pig, <laughs> so I've been listening to her ever since, and she's found one of our workers peeing in the back of the woods too, and, <laughs> and she's uh, she's crazy. It's a good dog, and, and the Pyrenees they help bark, but uh, that's all they do is just bark. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Cordelia Hux, Cordelia Avery Hux, and she is. Been here her whole life, and she will be four oh, on Monday. Can't you over. <laughs> oh, was that a bad tickling? No. Are you okay? Her teeth. Are... You gotta stop sticking your fingers in your mouth. That's what winds up hurting. All right, all the way down because I'm getting ready to milk. Not right now, please. No. I know that's frustrating. No. I know that's frustrating. Then you are more than welcome to come all the way down and go around to the other steps and see if they want it there. But if you get up there right now while I'm milking, it may mess it up, okay? Give me a minute. I just lost it. You just lost it. It's okay. It's all good. Oh. <laughs> I know where it is. You the carrots and the tomatoes. There's some carrots and tomatoes down there? Yeah. Sounds like we've lost a few things down there, huh? Mm -hmm. Not super close behind her butt, you're going to get kicked. Why? Wow, Thank she you. Because she's, she's almost done and I don't want you to get kicked in the face. You know the rules. Your feet are not supposed to be on this step. Thank you. You know the rules, baby. No, you're, you're just excited right now. So you're not following the rules. Yeah, she's already talked about the fact that she would like for me to live separately. 
I've decided I think I'm gonna just sneak off on a vacation for a couple of days and let everybody actually realize how much I'm worth. You said Finnegan and said sunshine. No, I didn't say how to put. I did not hit. I did how sunshine. How to sunshine. Hi, Finnegan. Oh, baby. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. Now my face fell. You don't mind it everywhere else. It's not on your face. Don't go on my face. Don't lick me on my face. You can lick me on my shirt. You can, you can lick me on my pants or my shirt. You can't lick me anywhere else. Just not your, just not your face. Hi. Not my face. Is that yummy? Don't. You sing that and you do it, everything he'll start howling to it and everything. One time we were out in the woods and I started playing it, I just remembered the lyrics out of nowhere and he started howling. Man, I started crying, I was bawling my eyes out. <laughs> like, I knew when I started playing guitar, I wanted to play guitar too. Like, as soon as I heard this chord, those they just I don't know what it is, but I just like that sound. And see, and I, I play for people and they say I sound good, and it that's all it takes. It's just I don't know. It was hard in the beginning, man. I sounded hard. It was god awful. I had to leave my mom's house. It sounded so bad, I think. <laughs> she kicked me out. <laughs> but, uh, it's just come a long way and it's just got to keep practicing. But it, it's really fun. It, it frees your mind up and everything, especially after doing all the farm chores and stuff. I mean, it gets pretty stressful sometimes, I won't lie. Back when the Cordelia's father used to live here, I used to just go out in the winter time and I'd be playing outside just to not be inside. <laughs> you know, for hours I'd be out there practicing, like trying to avoid. <laughs> and I reckon that's how farm kids grow up. They sit there and learn how to play. And Cordelia, she she likes to sit with me and play. And she's got a little ukulele thing she hits on and I'm teaching her a little bit, but I don't think a guitar is right for her quite yet. <laughs> Maybe one day, but. <laughs> but she's cool. There used to be a whole lot more stuff around here too. But it's getting getting clean. It used to be really messy. Their dad was a hoarder. Cordelia's dad, so it was like three or four years worth of just constant. They're just pilings up of stuff. But I don't know. Throw your stuff out and clean your house. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's what it's been around here recently. It's just been a lot of looking into the stuff we do and making things more efficient. You know, it's really important. Mainly because I just want to play my guitar. <laughs> just want to get a break. <laughs> Love it. 
He loves I the hay. I promise there's going to be dog fighting here. They're just playing. <laughs> Good, they're rolling the hay. Hey, guys. Hey. hey guys. Uh-oh, Cordelia. Do you think you should go in and grab that bowl? Mm -hmm. Hold on, I got it on my <laughs> Hey, be careful. Because they're hungry. Go ahead. Just be careful. Can you bring it with us? I need it in the feed part. You can reach up there, but let's go ahead and bring it down. Yeah. It goes down. <laughs> by we Parker has <laughs> completely cleared all this out and so he's created us a space to do he's, he's still working but um, this was like wall to wall you could barely walk he's cleared us a space so we can have our feed shed in here so now instead of fixing feed up there and having to constantly like we're just doing it here it's saving us so much time and it's warmer in here like in the evenings because it heats up and he got us a little Peter. Oh, I'm actually gonna change the name soon. Uh, when I started it, I started it with uh, Cordelia's dad, and his last name is Hux. And um, I don't remember exactly why we chose that particular name, but my my mom's family comes from farming, but it was tobacco farming. And but his grandfather and his dad had done uh, stuff for the Agriculture Extension Agency. Um, for he was an agriculture extension agent for the state his grandfather was and so they had done like animals and crops and like all kinds of stuff and so when we started it it was supposed to kind of be like a like a homestead or an extension of that and it was his it was what he wanted like it was his idea I was doing other things and then I fell in love with everything and he realized it wasn't what he wanted so I wound up taking over and when we separated, um, I just completely took over. I didn't want to change the name because we already had so much like invested into like people knowing who we were. But it's been about a year now since it's been fully, fully mine. And um, I think we're going to change the name. Um, I think we're just going to change it to my last name and make it Avery Family Farm instead of Hawks Family Farm. Because she still has Avery in her name, it's so it's still a part of her too, so, but we'll see. Feels good. Feels good to do that. Mm -hmm.